Hey gang, so if you are advertising on Facebook, then you're gonna to wanna to do two things. You're gonna to want to create custom audiences so that you can retarget them, and you might wanna create uh, lookalike audiences so you can target people who look like the audiences that are interested in your stuff, right? So in order to do that, you need to install a pixel. And um, I'm assuming you know how to do that. I think I might've showed you in another uh, tutorial, but here's the thing. If you want to uh, retarget, then your pixel has to be working properly. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is uh, go to Google and look for a Facebook Pixel Helper. And I'm in Chrome, so I'm gonna use the Chrome one, Chrome one, all right? So let's go there and then download that Pixel Helper. Then what that's gonna do is that's gonna pop up this little image here, okay, uh, on, your, on your menu bar there. So here's one of my races. It's called the Power in Pink Trail Race. And uh, there's my pixel helper and if I click on that what you'll see is that one pixel is found on Power and Pink, but it says I've opted out of tracking Okay, so what that means is that there's a pixel on the site But if somebody logs into it, it's not being registered with Facebook so that I can use it to target later All right, so I want to I want you first to get the pixel helper to make sure that you're you can uh, see if your pixel is working properly. And then second, if it's not, you're gonna wanna go um, into your Facebook and then go into settings, there it is. And then once you're in settings, then you wanna go over to ads. And then this top one, the ads based on my use of websites and apps. Oh look, a power and pink registration just came in. Um, ads based on my, uh, so I just, ah, man, so that means their pixel didn't get uh, tagged. Anyways, because I'm doing this video. What you want to do is you want to go up to edit, change this to on, <coughs> and then close, and you'll see that this says yes now. All right, now go back to um, your site, refresh the page, and let's check on that pixel again. Wait till the page is fully loaded and click on that and boom, one pixel found on power in pinktrailrace.com. It's loaded successfully. So now I've got that pixel working. So that's it. Super short uh, tutorial today. I just wanted to make sure you guys had your pixels installed and that you checked them to make sure that they were working properly. And here's the thing. Check it regularly. It's crazy because um, I learned this a few months ago. Uh, because I wasn't, I had the pixel installed and I wasn't be able to create a custom audience and one of the Facebook uh, support helped me uh, figure this out. And then uh, a couple months later, I went back and it was turned off again and I didn't, I didn't do it. And I asked uh, the Facebook crew how that might have happened and they didn't know. And then actually, oddly, today, uh, when I was preparing to make this video, I went and I checked and sure enough, it was off again. I keep turning it on and somehow it gets keeps getting turned back off so if I can find out why that happens I'll let you know but uh, in the meantime just make sure you have that uh, pixel 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 that pixel helper and that uh, everything is turned on so that you can track your pixels all right that's it that's all talk to you later bye bye